Uh, so, hello everyone. Uh, I think we should start, otherwise we will be very late. So, uh, we will talk uh, about uh, Federal Appreciation Week, uh, because we want to say uh, thank you to the people that are part of the Federal community. Uh, so, let's talk a bit about us. Uh, so B and I, uh, let's say for Fedora during this year, during the summer, uh, we were a mentor and our mentee was Anna and uh, she has been working uh, on Fedora happiness packets and she will explain a bit more details about it. Um, so hi everyone, I'm B. And I work with the community operations team on data analytics and related stuff. And I'm also involved with the diversity and inclusion team. Uh, and both of the teams are working together for launching this Fedora Appreciation Week, week to thank basically the Fedora community for all the work they have done. And yes, I have also been a Google Summer of Code mentor for the third time this year. And Anna has been a great mentee for both of us. And she has been working really hard on the Fedora Happiness Packets project for over the summer. Me? OK, yeah. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Anna. So I'm the said mentee. So I got selected somehow for GSTOC 2018. Yeah, so nice to meet you all. So let's talk a bit about, let's say, Federal Appreciation Week, let's say how it started, uh, how we had this idea. Uh, first, we were inspired by the Ubuntu community. Uh, they were doing Ubuntu Community Appreciation Day. And we wanted that it would be very uh, interesting to have something similar for Federal community. In this way, we can uh, say thank you to all our contributors that are working really hard uh, in their free time. and. Um, in this way, they can feel that their contributions are very uh, valuable for our community. And in this way, uh, we can, uh, let's say, it's kind of a way to tell them that their time is uh, very valuable for all of us and uh, for everything that they are doing. Uh, because, let's say, Fedora, it is a very powerful operating system and so on, but because of the community that is working really hard behind it. And yes, it's because of these people that are part of us. Uh, not all the people were here. This is a group photo that we did at Flock uh, two years before, yes, in Krakow. And I'm really glad that the community is growing uh, even more. So what we will do, uh, throughout the week, we will uh, have different events or initiative uh, that will be part of Fedora Appreciation Week. And um, all the community, uh, community members, uh, let's say, are very encouraged to say thank you to another person uh, for something specific that that pers person has done. Uh, has done. Uh, let's say, for example, if you want to say, uh, thank you, uh, someone that helped you a lot, especially when you were, uh, let's say, on your first steps uh, to be part of the Fedora community. Uh, this is a, a great way to say them uh, thank you, and um, but not all only for this, but also for something else. For example, someone uh, helped you to fix something, and you can say uh, thank you to that person. So yeah, um, you will get a lot of thank yous uh, during the day or during that week. Uh, you will say thank you to someone else and someone else will say uh, thank you to you. Uh, so that's what, uh, why it's all this about. OK, so I'm just going to discuss in brief about why we are doing this, about why it is important to thank other community members uh, who are working on Fedora, like different parts of the operating system or different areas in the community. So, I mean, uh, I mean, Fedora community is mostly like a volunteer based community. So, we don't really get paid for efforts unless 
it's your day job to work on fedora and so a lot of people still contribute a lot to development of fedora and also in non technical areas and sometimes like uh, like sometimes some people feel like they are not appreciated enough for their contributions to the uh, operating system or to the overall community and that's because like when we are working uh, together sometimes like we like slowly over time we feel like we forget to communicate that we appreciate their efforts even though like whatever small or big efforts they are putting in we forget to communicate that we need to thank them because all they are doing all of this in their volunteer time so uh, we basically um, created the idea of this week to practice uh, like gratefulness and say thank yous so that everybody feels appreciated and they feel uh, like um, good like they feel appreciate appreciated enough for their work in fedora and here are just some benefits of like practicing gratefulness so we feel that like if uh, everybody uh feels like uh, appreciated for their work in the fedora community it will have a positive impact overall on uh the contributions and on the team and it will also boost like confidence of community members in fedora it will lead to like happier community members better relationships better uh, work and basically more productivity but it's not just like the contribution aspects of it but we also want the community you know to gel together to interact with each other more and to basically put out all this positivity uh, in open source out in the real world that we are working and collaborating and doing this together and we want everyone to know that we really appreciate whatever they are doing even though uh i mean whether it's a small contribution or uh like it's a big thing like every everything is appreciated whatever they are doing in fedora community so so yes this is basically you know a meme so we want everyone to feel awesome because they are a part of fedora and we are such a nice community so we want them to feel happy and appreciated so that was our whole concept behind why we wanted to do this appreciation week and have this uh, different ideas on how to do it and how to say thank you to other community members so yona will now introduce a little bit about the uh, fedora appreciation day or, uh, or week depending on how the logistics go and how you can say thank you to other community members uh, during this period Okay, so first of all, uh, even when will be this uh, Federal Appreciation Week uh, or Federal Appreciation Day? Uh, so this will take place around November 6th, let's say, because it's the, also the anniversary of the Federal Project. Uh, so this is what we are wa uh, aiming um, to do the Federal Appreciation Week. And the way that, uh, let's say, how all of you can uh, be part of it uh, is, first of all, to pick someone, uh, to pick a contributor that is part of Fedora community. And of course, not only one. You are <laughs> encouraged to do, uh, to uh, say thank you to uh, also other people. Uh, so you can just uh, choose someone from the Fedora community that you really appreciate a lot and you uh, really would say uh, thank you for everything that that person has done, especially uh, something that it was very valuable for you uh, and that helped you a lot. Uh, and in this way, you'll, uh, let's say, uh, explain a bit the, contribu the contribution that that person did and it, why it was useful for you. Uh, let's say, for example, uh, I, mm, for example, uh, in my personal experience, I could say thank you uh, to the first person that helped me to get uh, into Fedora, uh, that it was also my mentor. Uh, he's not part of Fedora anymore, but still he was the person who, uh, let's say, helped me with everything, to get in touch with the other people, uh, and to grow more uh, at the community. 
And in this way, for example, you can see why it was uh, very helpful for you, the, 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 what the, the other person did, and, um, and you can just, like, let's say, um, express your gratitude toward that person. And in this way, you can uh, start writing your appreciation for that person. So how can you do that? First of all is, we do this even now, of course, karma cookies, and I think, is anyone here that doesn't know what karma cookies is? Or someone that wants to explain it? Okay. Yes. So, uh, a karma cookie is actually a system when you, you add the plus plus uh, signs uh, in, uh, be, uh, after the fast ID of one person or IRC NIC if the NIC is uh, married with a fast ID and after collecting several cookies you can get uh, badges uh, I think the biggest one is like 50 cookies or something like that but it's a way to say thank you in a simple matter you don't need to write anything or do anything just fast ID plus plus and the people will be reg regarded with a f uh, with a badge. So yes, thank you. And we can do that on IRC. So especially, let's say, when we have meetings and the meeting will end, you can just say thank you, for example, to the person who chaired the meeting and so on. Another way how you can write an uh, appreciation is contributor stories. Uh, so contributor stories, uh, as I said, uh, it's a way uh, to write um, kind of a story and we have a template uh, to help you what things you can include there uh, for another person. Uh, and uh, I will explain even a bit more how it's the template and show you a screenshot about it. Uh, another way is the happiness packets that we mentioned that Anna has been working on it and she will show us uh, later on even a demo. Uh, of how it looks now uh, and how, uh, let's say, other things that we are uh, going to implement until November. Uh, you can tweet about this, and the tweet that uh, we thought to use uh, for Fedora Appreciation Week will be, we are Fedora. Uh, in this way, it will be uh, even useful for us to, hand, uh, to have some kind of metrics to see how many people participated and let's say uh, how um, useful it was to have um, only a week uh, only uh, to say thank you to someone else and why to do this only for a specific week and not do this throughout the year. And something else that you can do, of course, that you can share it with your friends uh, because it's uh, very valuable uh, to spread the word and the others can do the same as you. Uh, so, as I said, they can do one of these um, kind of ways that they can be part of it. So, as I mentioned, one of the ways was uh, contributor stories. Uh, so, what is contributor stories? Contributor stories are the record of our best memories that we have uh, with people that are part of the Fedora community. Uh, so it can be, uh, let's say, everyone that is part of us that is contributing. It doesn't matter what kind of contributions or, let's say, how much time that person spends uh, as part of our community. Uh, but uh, let's say the things that that person has done, if it's very valuable for us, we can uh, start writing a story about that person and we can share our stories uh, that, we, uh, that, let's say, we are doing uh, as part of Fedora or something, I don't know, something else that it's unique, that you think it's very special, uh, about someone that uh, it's a community member, and you can share the story with the community members. You have another possibility to keep it uh, private, and only that, uh, the admins that are, uh, let's say, uh, that are admins for the uh, Pajur repo, and this is also the link that you can go there and check it out. Only that person can see the story that you will write, but for the others will be private. But if you want to share it also with everyone, you can just uh, keep that as uh, public. So yeah, this is the screenshot, how it looks, the um, uh, Pajur repo that we have. Uh, so you have even a template, uh, because we wanted to make it a bit more useful, uh, let's say more easier for you how to write something. So um, you can just, 
let us know a bit more about your story, uh, the person that uh, you are writing something uh, about him or her. Uh, let's say the kind of history or story that you had with that person and why you are saying thank you or uh, what things that person did for you that it was very useful and helped you a lot. So until now, actually we have nine contributor stories. We were trying to convince someone during flock to write another one, but we need to try more. So you can write an one. Or you, you wrote one, yeah, but you can write more. And for now we have seven that are public and two that are private. So um, thank you to everyone that wrote a contributor story and thank you to all the people that will write one in the next days. You can even do this now. Um, and as I mentioned to you, the link uh, about it, you can just check it out there and we'll be very happy if you can write one. Okay, so this is my first time doing this, anything of this sort, so please go easy on me. Um, yeah, so, uh, guten tag. My name is Anna and I was one of the GSOC interns selected to uh, you know, work on this amazing project called Happiness Packets. <laughs> and <laughs> okay, and so um, I guess I should start on why I picked this project first. Um, I'm a developer, so for me, stuff like this doesn't make a lot of sense. You know, I just code. I don't care what the other person does exactly, and I don't tend to like restrain or say thank you, it's just a given that the other person has to do what I tell them to do. <laughs> but um, I can see the benefits, like as B mentioned, there are a lot of benefits to, be, to being nice, to saying thank you to people every once in a while. They'll be nicer to you. And this is like, especially important in an open source community where people are not obliged to help you. So, you know, sending them a thank you card or buy them a beer or something like that, it just puts you, puts you in their good books. So. Civility costs nothing, but it buys you everything. Yeah, so that's a quote for you there. And um, I'm not really going to go into the technical details, but uh, well, so I'll just want yeah. Uh, yeah, so I'm a huge Snoopy fan. <laughs> so if you haven't started yet today, you can start from today. We are going to like launch the website so you guys can log in and send in your own appreciation notes as well. And yeah, so this is the project. It's called Fedora Happiness Packets. So this originally was a fork of another project called Happiness Packets. Um, so thank you for that. And essentially, it's a platform to make it easier for you to show your appreciations, show your gratitude to your fellow contributors. And for now, and I'm not like I'm an introvert. For me, like going up to a person and you know telling them thank you, it just terrifies terrifies me. I do not do one-on-one -on -one person. One-on-one -on -one is not my thing at all. So if you're like me, this is like the perfect software for you. You can just send anyone you appreciate, someone who has touched your touched you basically like in a meaningful way, like. For me, I would probably send, maybe after this session, some happiness packets to my mentors. Uh, I wouldn't do that in real life, but yeah, I'm sending it anyway. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that's that's essentially what it does. Like it helps you s if you're like me again, introvert. You don't like sending messages to people in person. You can do it online, and you can do it anonymous anonymously as well. So and but we do have other options. So. Some of the options are like, you can choose to have your message public, you can choose to have your name public as well. You know, if you're that kind of person, good on you. But you can al also send private messages as well, so that can work, yeah. And if you want, you can just put up your message on the website as well, but you can hide your name. So, you know, that's something for everyone, yeah. And so this is like a screenshot. I will demo it like right now, but um, this is what it looks like. It looks, the design is not so modern, but we're working on it. I mean, we still have time. This is going to happen sometime in 
later this month, so we'll have time to improve. We are looking forward to your feedback as well. Yep. Thanks. So uh, just giving a few tips for writing happiness packets. So when we initially put this up, I, w I saw a lot of messages that just said, you are awesome. Thank you for helping me with so-and-so bug. Yay. Um, so if you want to write a more meaningful happiness packet or a thank you note, I would say personalize it. You know, everyone loves hearing their name. So you know, putting their name in as well in the happiness packet. And don't use a generic template of Google. So don't Google something and just cut, copy, paste it. That's not really nice. And next one is like be specific. So if, I don't know, um, you know a contributor who has worked on this pull request for a really long time, you could you know, mention that, hey, so-and-so, like, thank you for helping out with this pull request. Thank you for working on this bug. Thank you for working on this issue. So you know, like, make it specific you know, and let them know how much that pull request or bug or issue meant to you, you know? Yeah? And of course, obviously, don't forget to thank the people who review your code. They take their time off to sit and read through your very, very long code. So take time off to thank them as well. And obviously, the next one is like be prompt. Um, it's always best you do this the day after, or maybe at least, uh, you know, put it in a month while it's still relevant, while it's still fresh on the other person's mind. But um, it's always better late than never, you know? Yeah. So now, yes, the demo. <laughs> So, you can uh, so you can log in with your FAS account, and do you want to? Okay, so did you? Did you open a private tab at least? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, okay, so once you log in, you can just like go ahead and send some happiness. Just one more thing. So even if you directly click on the send some happiness now button without logging in, it will redirect you to the login page and then you can go ahead. And I'm not exactly sure why it's not. It's because of Angela's computer problem. Yeah. Oh, God. Okay. So, yeah. Um, so for now, you just have to like put in the person's name and their email and the message you want to send. And like I mentioned, the privacy options you have, we have a lot of options here. So you can agree to share your name and email and address with the recipient. The other person doesn't even have to know who sent it as well. And you can choose to have it if you want to put it up on the happiness archive, you know, show your love to the world. And you have the third option, obviously, to like you agree to display our names publicly, like both our names publicly as well. So, yeah. And, and only if both of the people agree, so the sender and the, uh, the person who will receive it, we will publish it, we will have them at the archive. So if you want to get inspired uh, by some other happiness packets, you can just check them there. Yes. Yeah. So there's nothing bad right now, but here yeah, you go. Yeah, because we have... So we, you have some example messages too. And if you just go on the web interface to send a happiness packet, um, the message thing just. Yeah, so you can also see the message inspiration link there from where you can directly see like some 
uh, example happiness packets being sent and also in the end you you have even the share button so you can uh, share uh, on Google Plus Facebook or Twitter that you wrote happiness packets in this way even your friends uh, probably will be encouraged to do the same and if you want like to give us some more feedback about it we would be very happy uh, you can uh, file an issue on our uh, Pagur repo that it's the link at the end, oh yeah, yes, yes. Don't send us an email because we will change it. <laughs> but you can. It's better to file an issue on our repo. Uh, yes. Uh, or if you want to help, well we have some other issues that are open. If they are assigned to Anna, she's <laughs> working on them, otherwise uh, you can open another one or work w on one on the others that we have. So yes, for the moment Anna is um, assigned to most of them. Uh, what? Oh yeah. Yes. So I don't know if you have any questions regarding the demo, but we don't have a lot of time and we want to mention even the Mm. The usability testings. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, yeah, so obviously there's like a first iteration thing. We were like, you know, looking for feedback a lot of it. I know it's like it's not bad supposed to be right now, but so with your help we are looking for features, you know, what you think, what you think doesn't work, would you use it? So, you know, if you're interested, we'll be like right outside this hallway. So, whoever wants to sign up, like, come talk to me. <laughs> yeah, we have some sheets here, so you can just write your name and email, and we can coordinate, like, when you can do it. It's not too long, it's just 20 minutes at most, so it won't take too much of your time and it will be really helpful for uh, us and the project. Oh yeah, and obviously some of the things we're like working on is like audio video messages. Um, you know, like a text message is great, but audio video messages, you can hear the person. They're just like more effective as well. Plus you'll be getting cool badges. So we don't have a badge yet, yeah, but, but at least we just had, uh, as you saw, our logo, and we want to uh, thank uh, the design team. And this is a nice idea to, I don't know, write a contributor story or a happiness package to the design team, uh, because they did a very nice logo for us, and uh, we will design the badge soon. Uh, yes, because w when you log in, you will log in with your FAS account and, uh, yes, sir. Uh, so your question was, how can we get the badge, right? So when you log in, as we said, you will log in with your FAS account and it, uh, when, you write, uh, con when you write happiness packets and um, both of you, uh, you will not be anonymous. In this way, uh, you will directly get the badge when you send the happiness packets to the other person. Uh, sorry? Yes, the sender, yeah. I mean, the other person cannot get the badge, uh, but he can, uh, yeah, they can write uh, a happiness package to get the badge. So. Thanks. So, do you have any questions? Otherwise, we need to. I have like yeah. 10. <laughs> it would be easy on you. Uh, my first question is like, I know the happiness packet. Uh, software before it was a Django application if I'm not wrong did you keep record of the issues that was in the original packet to this one or you are just having the Pagur to to try the issues because the github uh, repo from that w from that application have their own issues mm -hmm. so you try to solve it or you just port it and work over it okay and my other question, why if I send the happiness packet as private, I don't get the badge? That doesn't matter uh, for me. Uh, 
Because if you want to be anonymous and you get the badge, then where's the point of being anonymous? People will understand that you send the uh, package. Yeah, but you're not the people is not going to s to know uh, f to who you send the package, or it was you to to the one who sent the package. I don't know if uh, the anonymity is dead there. Uh, the only thing you are going to know is that you send a package, but no when or where or to who. So there is no point in in, in not giving the bash uh, or giving the bash only to public. At least that's what I think. Maybe you can file a new issue yeah, in our repo and we say, can uh, discuss it there and, then and everyone can put their ideas in. So we really need to finish. <laughs> Is the GDPR compliant? Uh, we are working on that, uh, but yeah, I mean, as everything in Fedora is uh, GDPR compliant, we will be as well. And it follows pass login, so if yeah. Epsilon is here. Yeah. Yes. Uh. Okay. So, yeah, sorry. Okay, so, so yeah, we need to finish now, and thank you for being here. <laughs>